You are entering the seven dimensions, another dimensional thing, another dimensional model culture. Yes. Which one should you know? Well, actually, I want you to know all of them. Because by the time you're done, when you take this out into the real world, when you get a job in the world of international business, you're going to be able to sit down and have one of these speak to you, and you'll see some of them in action. Between the last one and this one, I believe that these are probably the two primary aspects as to how you define culture as you go through. Now, obviously, testing-wise, th this is going to come up. We'll talk about the seven dimensions, but I also want you to have a grasp in your own head to sit down there and find some of these tools to help you understand the differences of different cultures that you go through, because each one of us believes our own culture is superior. And unless you sit down and work to overcome that, you'll always have that. Really, the culture that you're in is just different from the one next door in the process. I'm not certain making those value judgments of mine's better than yours. Well, of course, you're going to say that because that's the one, except for the fact maybe yours isn't so hot. Maybe you should pay attention to grab a couple things from this culture, another one over here. The, the, the joy that happens in the Mexican culture versus the formality as to how we treat the past and the Arab culture should go through. You look at different aspects of it, the formality, the dignity that comes across in the Japanese culture. Every culture has some phenomenal things to bring forward to us that is a gift almost if you can sit down and find a way to adapt it to our own personal lives as you go through. So here we have the this, this seven dimensions, a, a cultural framework really from Trumpeter's Trump seven dimension. So universalism versus particularism, in other words, rules versus relationships. Some cultures, relationships mean everything. Some, the rule, this is the way it's supposed to be done. Yes, I have to sit down and do it exactly this way in the process you go through. And frankly, some cultures are almost binding like that as you go through. Individualism versus communitarianism. You'll see the terminology here does resemble the Hofstede six dimensions as you go through. So you look at that whether people plan their actions with reference to the individual or to the group as a whole. The neutral versus affective or the unemotional versus emotional. That's the way it is. You have to live with it. But, but look at this affecting this over here. Okay, so the affective person, they talk about control, but what about having the compassion as you go through? That you want to make sure you have that as well. The specific versus the diffuse dimension. It distinguishes among cultures based on between the private life and public or work life as you go through. Well, this is over here. This is my personal life. Get out of this. Stop calling me at home. Hey, I, I pay your salary seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You're not set up time clock. You're set to work for us as you go through. It depends where you're going through. You want to sit down to specific. Okay, communication is direct to the point, purposeful, diffuse. Hey, indirect, seemingly aimless. You talk around 17 different things. And somewhere in there, you've made some sense as to what you wanted to have happen in the process. Achievement versus ascription as you go through. Ascription cultures consider the person in terms of family, lineage, age, and other attributes that really about who the person is. Achievement focuses on meritocracies that reward what you do. Is versus do by the time it's all done in the process. Time has two aspects. There's actually a lot more. We talk about past, present, future. If you dive into this topic, really there's almost five different aspects of time. One time I was talking to one of my security officers and he kept on talking about his divorce, his divorce and his ex-wife and his ex-wife. Finally, one day I talked to him and I says, I said, when did you get divorced? Oh, it's been 10 years. I said, 10 years. I said, okay, here's the rule. Don't tell me again. I never want to hear about your ex-wife. Knock it off. Get over it. It's been 10 years now. Straighten up. So my time was up. But to him, it was like it was still going on today because he had a, a past negative orientation as you go through. So if, if you want to study this topic anymore, Zimbaldo, by the time you're done, at Stanford University, wrote about 108 articles on personal interpretation of time. And he talks about five different things a past negative, a past positive, a present uh, positive, and a present negative, and a future by the time you're all done. So th that really gives you a perspective on the individual, but cultures often have a huge respect for the past. We don't want to defile the memory of things that were as you go through the process. This is part of our lineage, part of our family, or part of our culture as a society. And here's the present, and the future someday is over here. Sometimes you can't reach the future until you honor the past as you go through. It's going to depend a lot on the cultures and time 
plays a big role in that. Another one is the internal versus the external, the internal dimension and the external, by time it's all done, the internal direction and cultures, the people believe that they control nature as you go through. The external thing, the world around them has an impact on the cultural work of their society as you go through. Here's a lot of rankings over here. Obviously, this is too small to read. You'll find in your textbook, you'll have this, but it certainly gives a lot of fascination and it will help you in the answer of being oriented in case you're gonna sit down and be switching and talking to somebody even on, on, the, uh, on, a, on a video chat or in person as you go through the process. Culture matters all the time, but in different ways that different times by the time you're all done. We look at different aspects of the map bridge integrate model is discerning for what matters across cultures as you go through. There's a cultural paradox a lot of times when a culture's value and what is actually observed as you go through. Here's what they believe and this is what they believe is happening, but you're watching this and you're seeing, well, I know they're supposed to operate this way, but I simply don't see it as you go through. Sometimes what's visible isn't what really is going on as you go through. So. Rule of thumb for managers doing business across culture, thumbs. Okay, be prepared when you approach a foreign market, slow down and establish trust as you go through and understand the importance of language, the words that are being said as you go through. Respect the culture, understand the components, the surface ones, and also a lot of the deep ones that sometimes are not visible on the surface as you go through. Here's the seven dimensions that you're leaving as you go through universalism versus particular, particularism, rules versus relations, individual as an individual versus communitarianism, neutral versus effective or unemotional versus emotional, specific versus diffuse, achievement versus description, time, and the internal versus the external dimension. You want to sit down and have all these things that you go through. If you're going to go on a business trip, you may want to sit down and take some notes, make copies of these slides as you go through the process. To sit down there and, and just glance at them as you go through to know what you're going to be involved with in your next upcoming business deal, because you may say the right thing and land something spectacular or squish it in the process. Yeah. Depends what you want to do. If you want to be successful, pay attention because all these tools really can provide a huge amount of success when you work with other cultures and other people as they sit down and try to work with you as well. Take care.